while Jody Wilson-Raybould says she does intend to run as a Liberal in her Vancouver riding once again come the October election. The former Attorney General and Justice Minister telling CBC News today that she has already been confirmed as a candidate. Wilson-Raybould, as you will remember, quit Cabinet in a dispute over her handling of a criminal case against the Quebec Corporation, SNC-Lavalin. Now, last week, she told a Commons committee that she felt political pressure to give the company a legal break. The CBC's Olivia Stefanovic is in Ottawa with more on this story. So, Olivia, uh, tell us more about Wilson-Raybould and what she's saying today. Well, Jody Wilson-Raybould gave an exclusive interview to Post Media, saying that she's heard from thousands con of Canadians since giving her testimony at the Justice Committee this week, and that she's overwhelmed by the public support and grateful for that. Now. At the same time, even though she is receiving all this support, there is backlash against her within her own party. And some MPs have expressed concerns about her remaining in caucus. But despite that, she says that she's not backing down at all, that she plans to stay as a Liberal MP for Vancouver Granville, and that she actually plans to seek re-election. She says she's already actually secured her nomination for Vancouver Granville to continue on as the MP serving her constituents in that riding, and that she plans to basically just stay the course. So now the question is whether or not the Prime Minister will let her stay in caucus. We know that he has come out saying that he doesn't agree with her version of events, of her version that she gave to the Justice Committee about this whole SNC-Lavalin affair. And now we wait to see what his decision will be, whether or not he will keep her in caucus. Uh, absolutely, because uh, as you say, before even running, he has to make that decision. And right now, as we've noted uh, for many days, that the Prime Minister is at odds with Jody Wilson-Raybould. So what happens if he doesn't allow her to run as a Liberal? Well, this is a huge dilemma for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Either way, there will be political consequences. If he doesn't allow her to stay in caucus anymore, certainly he will ease the concerns of some of the MPs who have been expressing concerns that they don't want to be in the same room as her speaking openly about some issues that they may have and they may not have just confidence in that room with her being there. So he may please some people if he does let her go in a sense. At the same time, this will also be a strong signal that he does not agree with her version of events and that they're on completely, they completely have two different stories here when it comes to the SNC-Lavalin affair. Now, if he does let her stay, there will be the challenge of mending that relationship, of course. There could be two truths here, and that's certainly what the Prime Minister is saying, that there is Jody Wilson's Raybould's truth, which he gave to the Justice Committee this week, and there's also the Prime Minister's version of events and the government's version of events. Now, this upcoming week, we expect to hear from Justin Trudeau's former principal secretary, Jerry Butts, he's expected to testify on Wednesday, and we'll hear a lot more about the government's position on this. But the, basically, at the end of the day, the Trudeau has a choice. He can keep her in or he could kick her out. Either way, again, political consequences on both sides, Michael.